All right, welcome in everybody for the recap today, July 11th. We've got a lot to discuss. Uh, a few, uh, well, we've got one set that's reached 10,000 supporters. We have the sad news about the price increases that are coming later this year, uh, along with some of the things that you can expect to see at San Diego Comic-Con if you are going, and a few other treats and goodies in there as well. Don't worry, we got, we got some good news too. It's not all bad price increases, but we're going to look at that for sure. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at the news. So to start, the LEGO Ideas Gravity Falls Mystery Shack has, has achieved 10,000 supporters. Now, I love the show, Gravity Falls. I thought it was a lot of fun. The set could use a little bit of revamping. It needs, uh, needs a little bit of help, but I love the idea. And to get a Gravity Falls set, I think would be a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fantastic characters, you know, all the, the magical, mythical creatures and everything that comes from it. Um, could be, uh, it could be great. Be great. The Lego Ideas third 2021 review stage winners are going to be announced tomorrow. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern, uh, you will get to see the winner of which of these 36 sets is going to become, or winners could be plural, uh, will become an official Lego Ideas set in the future. Probably sometime next year, most likely. That seems to be the time frame, generally. Um, if you join me over on twitch.tv slash the local brick shop, we do go over, we did go over the entire bout of 36 uh, entries, um, which I won't go over here in the, uh, on the, the video here, but uh, you can go catch the VOD, go over there, check the VOD. We do, we do other things too, it's worth it. All right, the sad news, the sad news, I've got it open uh, right over here. The price increases uh, that's been released by Barnes and Nobles. They've they've got a list of all the price increases you can expect to see come August September this year on existing sets. So this is existing sets only. Uh, I'm gonna read through them quickly here, and it looks like you're between a like a five to twenty five percent price increase on some of the sets. Not every set is getting the increase, just some of them. And you see things like the flower bouquet is going up ten dollars. The lunar research base and rocket launch center are both $10 a piece as well. The Boutique Hotel is going up $30. Now, all these prices are the American increases. I do not know how this will bode for our European friends, uh, us up here in Canada, or any of the um, the Asian Pacific market. Uh, the Tumblr is increasing by $40. The Rapunzel's Tower is and Anna's Elsa's Frozen Wonderland, $5 a piece. Bell and Beast Castle, $10. The Ice Castle, $20. Ariel's Underwater Palace, $10. Zerg Battle, $5. Uh, Duplo's Amusement Park is increasing $10. Main Street Building from Friends is increasing $10. Uh, Harry Potter is seeing one of the biggest increases with the Hogwarts Castle going from $400 up to $470. It's a 17.5% increase, but it is a $70 difference. That is not a small number. Four Perfect Drive and Hogsmeade are both going up $10. Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets and uh, it's going up $20. Uh, Hogwarts Icons is sadly going up $50. Uh, the Magical Trunk is going up $5. Uh, for the Icons line, Friends Apartments is $30. Portion 911, $20. The Real Madrid Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is $50. Back to the Future Time Machine, $30. You know that one that you couldn't buy for months and still probably can't? Well, when you can, don't worry, it'll have a $30 increase. It's a little upsetting, Lego, I gotta say. From Lego Ideas, the Treehouse is going up $50, the Blacksmith, $30, the Typewriter and the Fender... No, well, the Typewriter is going up $50. There's a mistake here on the Fender. I think it's only going up $20. Home Alone is going up $50. Sonic is going up $10. The Globe is going up $30. Jurassic World is seeing increases with the Blue and Beta Velociraptor Capture and the Quetzal, Quetzalcoatlus Plane Ambush each going up $5. The T-Rex and the Trosseraptor Dinosaur Breakout $20, which is a 25% increase. That's a big one. And the Gigantosaurus and Thrasinosaurus Attack going up $10 as well. Marvel is seeing the Venom Infinity Gauntlet Guardian Ship and Goat Boat each going up $10. Minecraft is seeing the Mushroom House and Rabbit Ranch going up $5 a piece. Speed Champions is seeing the Mercedes AMG F1 and the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro uh, dual packs going up $5. Star Wars has some big increases as well with the Millennium Falcon and the uh, Playscale AT-AT $10. 
the Imperial TIE Fighter going up $5, the Darth Vader Helmet going up $10, the R2 is seeing a $40 increase, a 20% increase on the R2-D2. Get it now before it's gone up. Uh, the UCS Republic Gunship going up $50, the UCS AT-AT already a mammoth cost at $800 is now going up to $850, which means Canadian, it might be cracking that $1,000 barrier. Uh, the Child is going up $10. The Dark Trooper Attack is going up $5. Luke Scott, Skywalker's uh, helmet and the Mandalorian helmet, along with the Death Star Trench Run and Jedi Training, are all going up $10 as well. Super Mario's Question Mark Block is going up $30. If you haven't got that one, you want to grab it before it's gone. Uh, and Technic is seeing the other largest increase with the Lamborghini Sion going up $70. So from $380 to $450, expensive set. Uh, the Ducati is getting a $10 increase. The Ferrari 488 is $30 increase. The BMW uh, $20, the John Deere $5, the all-terrain vehicle 10 bucks, and the app control transformation vehicle $10. So what does this mean? This means that you need to take advantage of tomorrow, um, tomorrow's sale, and uh, both on Amazon Prime and Lego will be having a sale. Amazon Prime has their Prime Days, and LEGO has double VIP points, as well as some gift with purchases, which we will discuss shortly. In the meantime, you can head over to the VIP Rewards Center and grab yourself a LEGO Logo poster, uh, which they'll ship out with your next order for 650 points, or the uh, Lenticular Duck sticker for 500 points. Uh, little news about San Diego Comic-Con. There are some panels that have been announced, including the Behind the Bricks with LEGO Entertainment, where you'll get to go behind the scenes for a sneak peek at some upcoming animation specials uh, when you'll get to talk with some... Le well, you'll get to listen to some LEGO masters like Boone Langston uh, sharing exciting new LEGO animations, including a dive into the epic finale of the current Ninjago uh, series. There'll also be some sneak peeks and more, uh, uh, a lot more Q&As featuring some more special guests. Um, if you're feeling a little sad by all that news, the price increases, well... Good news. You can go spend $10 on the Humble Bundle um, Lego at the Movies. So for $10, you can get yourself nine Lego video games playable on PC. Um, they are the, the Humble Bundle is for the charity Active Minds, all going towards promoting mental health for young adults. And uh, you do get these nine fantastic games, Lego Movie 2, Disney's Pixar's Incredibles, DC Super Villains, Lego Ninjago Movie Video Game, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, Lego Marvel's Avengers, Jurassic World, uh, Lego Movie, and finally, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Nine great games for 10 bucks, minimum $10. You can pay more to donate towards charity more, of course, uh, but the retail value of this is $229. Great package, great package, great games. Uh, two more items available at the VIP Rewards Center are the Build Your Own Birthday Bear and My First Elephant. 500 points will get you either one, which can, of course, be shipped out with your next uh, order if you order either one of them. Uh, another panel for the San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, oh, sorry, this isn't the panel. This is uh, There's No Lego Listed Yet for the exclusives at San Diego Comic-Con. So normally you have exclusive purchases available at San Diego Comic-Con along with uh, giveaways. You have to sign up and allocate points as to which exclusives you wish to be able to try to get a chance to get. LEGO currently has not listed anything. However, they have until the 15th to reveal any products. So there's still a few days left to see if uh, there will be any exclusive LEGO sets available at SDCC. Always an exciting time of year for uh, not just comic book fans, but LEGO fans as well. Uh, there is a designer video out for the Mighty Bowser, this fantastic set, and it does give you a good idea as to all the functionalities this beautiful set has, which I do highly recommend you go and check out. You can find it on YouTube. You can search for it over on thebrickband.com. Um, but absolutely great video. That uh, It's amazing, this set, and amazing what it can do. But I'll let you discover that. The other gift of purchase that is available right now is Santa's Front Yard for their Christmas in July uh, promotion. So this was available last Christmas. Uh, they brought it out again for Christmas in July. So you spend $170 US, I think it's 200 Canadian. Uh, you will get one of these shipped out to you as well. So you can stack this with the double VIP starting tomorrow, July 12th and 13th, um, and get this promo set, get your double VIP, 
and try to order one of those sets that's going up in price later, that's going to be your best option for acquiring something before, uh, yeah, before those massive price price hikes take effect. So uh, go take a look. Go take a look. Either that or Prime Days. Prime Days start tomorrow as well. New set revealed is the Brickheads Manchester United Go Brick Me. So you can dress yourself up in your uh, Manchester United uh, kit and, uh, you know, decorate it to look like you. Short hair, long hair, uh, whatever flesh tone you want to go with. All kinds of options for you right there. This one will be available, I believe it's in... Does it tell me here? I think it's August. Um, and it does come with stickers, of course, to add your favorite player number onto your back as well. Just an added bonus. Just an added bonus. The LEGO 90th Anniversary Red Brick Building Event at LEGO Stores will be happening soon on July 20th and 21st and August 10th and 11th. You can line up at your local LEGO store uh, for a chance to get to build one of these red bricks in celebration of the 90th anniversary and take it home with you. It is a first come first serve basis so you might want to get there nice and early um, or maybe give them a call make sure that they've got to uh, see when the event is starting and everything that's uh, not a bad idea but uh, hey free legos free lego no one's going to complain with that right and the other panel that has been listed for san diego comic-con is building worlds lego panel uh, where they will be talking with experts about the art of world building the lego way uh, with writers, artists, and builders as they co-create unique characters, settings, and storylines in the original story world, all from scratch using LEGO World Builder platform. Uh, this would be an amazing, um, amazing panel to go sit through, I feel. Uh, I think I'd have a lot of fun with that if San Diego Comic Con was an option for me, but being up in Canada, it's really hard to get down there, you know, and expensive. All right, uh, the next little bit I've got is if you missed LegoCon, or maybe you enjoyed LegoCon, and you want to show your LegoCon pride, there are shirts available, at least in North America, for LegoCon. You can find these on the Canadian and American versions of the Lego website, and I believe they're both $24.99 Canadian or American, doesn't matter. And there are t-shirts, and you can see down here, hoodies available, pullovers. Uh, the pullovers are $49.99, the t-shirts are $29.99, they come in sizes small to extra large, uh, and they look good. And they've got the little uh, 2022, the date on the back there as well. So you can show your pride with one of these shirts, you know, great memento. Uh, the last little bit of information we have is LEGO is crossing with H&M, at least in the UK. I don't know if it's going to happen over uh, in the rest of uh, North America and everything as well. Uh, to make a line of children's clothes and accessories. So you can see all very pastel colors, but uh, adorable designs that uh, you can get for your little ones. And that's about all I've got for the news today. Again, today was what, July 11th? Uh, so make sure to join me over on twitch.tv slash the local brick shop. If you want to chat live about the news, tell me your feelings about these price increases. Come complain with everybody else, because uh, it's horrible. It's horrible news, I know, I know. But we will be talking live about any Prime deals tomorrow, along with any extra bonus VIP deals or anything like that that we may end up seeing in the future. So, so come, come see us there. You can catch me Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 11 a.m. till around 3 p.m., Wednesday nights is 8 p.m. till midnight. We do Lego builds and Lego giveaways. Uh, just got to be there for your chance to win. Win free Lego. Who doesn't want free Lego, right? Uh, otherwise, you can find all my other socials down below in the description. So make sure you like and subscribe. And thanks for tuning in today. So until next time, take care.